Okay, the next project is the tabletop. Now this is something I've been quite excited for for a while. I've got my materials here, some wood. I want to make like a cross section and I'll show you pretty much as we go. The last thing I did last night was I painted the base of the table black and now I need to continue cutting out some of my little wood circles and I'm going to slice these up and then we're going to glue them down and then we're going to resin. I've got all my sides glued on now. Next, I'm gonna glue down my little um, bits of wood. If you don't glue them down, when you pour the resin in, they'll all just float to the top. So um, best to glue them down, to keep them all the same level. wood in I've just glued it all down and now I just need to resin it so oh, we'll mix the resin now and then we'll get it all all done the next very important thing with resin that you must check before you pour and it's quite hard obviously because my surface isn't exactly even so I'm just checking it in a few different places oh, is that it's level check it on the sides yeah and I'm going to do a bold thing that I shouldn't probably do, but I'm going to pour all of my hardener into my resin and then just pour it straight onto my table because I'm feeling a bit lazy today. Um, usually you would measure out, so the ratio is two to one and it would all go in, but I am wanting to get this done while I've got heat in the day. So I'm gonna make some, take some risks. Moment of truth. Now we pour and we see if I've got any <laughs> leaks, which hopefully I won't. No going back now. If you do decide to do a resin table, oh, I got you there, mister. Um, maybe don't do it outside in spring or summer because um, I've just picked about 10 flies out of the table. And I'd rather not have to be doing this. I don't really want flies preserved in my kitchen table for the rest of its days. There's another one. Um, but some bubbles did win the battle against me. Got a little bit of a bump here and a little bit of white has risen to the surface. You might also be able to see, I'm not sure. This little textured surface, that's fine. I'm not worried about any of that. My first mission is to plane down this bump and the rest of it just needs a sand. I 
Okay, from where I definitely did not want to let resin leak out of the corners, you can see some of the glue. So I'm going to round off these corners slightly on all of them, just to get rid of those little glue dots. So now, we sand. This is gonna be a long process, so I'm just gonna get started. And there is the finished product. This is built to go into our van conversion, which we have a build series for. So if you'd like to see that, click here. <laughs>